Last time on Space Engineers The Val Saga. After crashing and awakening stranded as the sole survivor, Chief Engineer Val salvaged the Star Federation ship Fortitude into a lifeboat. Now he hopes it will bring him to salvation. Engineer's Log. We have successfully uh, created a life raft by harvesting a portion of the SFS Fortitude's crashed remains. I've successfully transferred everything on board. As you can see inside of here, um, we've got one large reactor, a gyroscope, an oxygen generator, and we've got some cargo containers full of all the harvested valuables from the, written Hulk, the Hulk, um, except of course all of the vast amounts of steel. As you can see it there. After looking around at the various asteroids, I decided it may not be the best idea to go to the nearest asteroid, um, but one that is farther away near a collection of other asteroids. So the one I'm pointing towards here, I've just kind of decided to go towards near to the star. Um, there's an, a number of asteroids around it, and hopefully that'll put some distance between uh, me and the Hulk in case anyone does come looking for it. Uh, to finish what they started and if I do need to come back I know where it is so I, I've created a GPS coordinate here in my logs and uh, we're gonna head off I've got enough supplies energy 17 kilometers away so I think that'll be good we'll go ahead and turn on our systems here and we'll get going As we approach, we get a good feeling for the surrounding asteroids. Passing one here on the starboard side. There's quite a, a number of small asteroids around. I think that's probably going to be the best bet, so we can gather resources from a lot around pretty easily and establish ourselves while being some distance away from the Hulk. We are approaching the asteroid I've selected now. I have to start slowing. We'll see we're going 19.4 meters per second. We were going a little faster. Um, but I slowed us down on our approach because we are very heavy. 220 kilograms. I'm sorry, no, um, 819 million grams. <laughs> Over there on the right, sorry. My, that's my personal on the left, of course. Uh, dampers off. I forgot how quickly that large thruster behind us will get us powered, but as you can see, uh, that only gives us four hours of power. Oh, it looks like this asteroid has been a giant hole cut in the middle. Yes, yeah, look at that, we can see through it. Yes, we can. 
Well, that's good for us in our mining operations. Let's slide on over here into the sunlight side. to a, a halt here and I will go ahead and probably look around get out on my jetpack uh, scout out what kind of ores we have available here make sure I've gotten enough oxygen bottles um, see if there's any place we could build a, a base into this asteroid it's quite hollow it looks like so it may only be a little place to have an interior inside an asteroid. I think that's probably going to be the best uh, so I don't have to build as many walls up. Uh, I could build an exterior one but I am somewhat trying to hide here until I've got uh, myself situated and I can call for help. I am worried about pirates whoever attacked us chasing our ship. Alright here we go I found some this black ore here what we're looking for, uranium. Returning from my trip it was pretty lucrative. I did find um, quite a bit of uranium. There's a t huge vein out there, um, and there's just tons and tons of iron, as one would expect. But in addition to that, there's a good uh, distribution of ores. Bring up my heads up display here, and you can see I located nickel, cobalt, as well as iron and uranium on this uh, one asteroid here. Quite impressive to be honest. Um, but of course there's some things that we don't have on this one asteroid. Gold, silver, silicon. So we're definitely going to have to be traveling to some nearby asteroids uh, to get other resources. However, I do have um, quite a bit of stuff on hand already. So we should be okay for a while. Um, let's take a look again. We got about six and a half thousand steel plates, almost four thousand thruster components, four thousand reactor components. That's that's a lot of silver. So we should be okay for a little while. We we'll build build ourselves up. Um, now with this uh, uranium, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the refinery. Which we need to build. <laughs> Of course, we have all the parts for one. So we need to establish ourselves. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put put this stuff in here for now. Uh, we definitely will have plenty of uranium to keep us going for now. we got about 29 ingots. That will sustain this lifeboat here, which I call the VSS Lifesaver. The Val Spaceship. That's what I'm going to call it. And I may... Uh, have just been the engineer of our previous vessel, but for this one, I'm the captain. So I'm gonna get looking around to see how I can, where I can make a base. I'm thinking on this western side here, left side. Um, we'll maybe be able to dig in some and, and establish myself, and we'll be back in a little bit. So yeah. There's also a huge deposit of ice on this thing too. I didn't even see this on the on the far side. That'll keep uh, that'll give us plenty of water, oxygen, and hydrogen for a long time. I've studied the amount of biologicals we have uh, left over for the assemblers, and it was 
meant to make enough food for the c entire crew for like six months. So for just me, it should last years. Along with all this, um, we should be good. I also found a bunch of gold. I want you guys to see see this as well. Nice vein, nice large veins on the opposite side of the asteroid. So we're doing all right. We're missing a few things: platinum, silver, silicon. But we got the basics. All right. I think I've designated a spot here where we'll have the entrance be. This kind of flat area right there that's shaded at the moment. Just kind of bringing our lifeboat in a little closer. And as you can see, I've got the solar panels rotated into the sunlight. Go ahead and make sure that they're fully exposed there. Yeah, we got four lights on them, on all of them. That'll help out quite a bit. We could probably even turn off the nuclear reactors all together. We'll go ahead and turn off all those power hogs. And the doors currently open. <laughs> Love all that. Alright, so. I think right about here. This big flat area, we can open up and have a hangar. Eventually, with this entire huge cavity in here that we'll be mining out, um, we could actually use this as a protected shipyard. And we can access it from the base here on the side, thinking we'll be in interior of the asteroid over here. We could access that space. It's kind of the general plan here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start hollowing out a hole. see here's our lifeboat our spotlight shining down I've been doing some work here clearing out uh, what will eventually be kind of a hangar I would say and you can see I've started establishing our station here and drill the hole all the way back to about this area where I've started putting a wall of blocks into the asteroid so that it will be airtight and I started making an airlock of two doors of course this is only this initial steel I need to uh, build these up put a reactor in here get a reactor powering this power grid um, and then we can start carving out some more rooms and getting our infrastructure in place uh, first priorities are going to be getting a refinery and assembler working and then moving our life support systems in here with uh, once power is going and then I think we'll be okay then we can start um, refining our uranium ensuring our power supply and then we can start doing some mining in earnest alright I'm gonna get back to it back into the ship grab some more components and get working I'll be back uh, when I have something more to show.
good basic cargo setup. And I think I'm ready to try and transfer some things in there. Got some basic life support systems, oxygen generation, power. I've got a little airlock going in there. We soon we can set up an air vent and finally uh, take off, <laughs> take off my helmet. But we got to be fast about this. Um, the ship's sensors have picked up a pirate carrier ship. About 5,000 meters out, looking around the different asteroids. Um, my ship doesn't have an antenna. We're not. There's another drone out over this way. So I need to be careful, I need to try and dock. I've gone ahead and set up a connector system in the back of this ship here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and pilot it to my gyros to connect it. So we'll first raise it up to about the appropriate level. Try not to use much thrust here. Turn our speed off there. Alright, now I want to rotate the ship. Spin it around. I think we got plenty of room here. Alright. Get our camera drone. Give us a better look. Keep turning it. Alright, that should be sufficient. Now let's uh, back it up. Big ship. And we'll get rid of this connector system. And hopefully we will be able to hide. our entryway oh look how close I am <laughs> ah, anyway, I just guessed too alright there's a good view get the drone There we go. And I think we've done it. We're nice and locked. Alright, now I can transfer goods out of the ship into my station. Let's take a look here. Got an initial cargo bay set up out here that we'll use while we're building or as a quick connector and then I've got tubes going down into a conveyor block at the bottom there which will connect inside the airlocked section so I'm going to keep working on the interior here build up this gravity generator bring the conveyors in from this conveyor block inside Hollow out a room underneath, which I've already started a staircase down. Just gotta do some more mining. And then we can start uh, going out and grabbing more resources. We'll build a small ship to go do so. And hopefully we can stay hidden from those pirates.